A lot of people have been asking me for an effective fat burning workout that can be done at home without the use of equipment. And I totally understand that not everyone has access to a gym. So I'm very happy to help those of you that don't with a super simple yet effective high intensity interval training fat loss workout. The only thing that you'll need is your own body weight and a timer. These 10 exercises that I'm about to share with you are very good at working multiple joints and multiple muscle groups, allowing you to burn more calories in less time. They're also great at getting your heart rate and your breathing rate way up. And like I said, you can do them all from the comfort of your own house. The way that I want this workout performed is for each exercise, you're going to do 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off for your break. Repeat each exercise eight rounds of the 20 seconds on and then take 10 seconds off before taking a one minute break and then moving on to the next exercise. I know only 20 seconds on may sound easy and it may even feel easy at first, but trust me, as the rounds go by, you're definitely gonna start to feel it. Let's jump right in with the very first one, the sprawl to the reverse lunges. The way that this one works is you start by placing both your hands on the ground directly under the line of your shoulder as if you're getting ready to get down into a push-up position. Once you plant your hands down on the ground, jump your feet out wide rather than close together. Then drop your hips to the ground and try to touch the ground with your hips. Next, you want to bring your hips back up and jump your feet back in and stand all the way up. Now you want to perform two reverse lunges on each side. While keeping your feet hip width apart, step one of your feet back. The front foot should be flat and the back foot should be up on its toes. Drop your back knee straight down and right before touching the ground, come back up and step back in. Then repeat the same thing on the other side. If the sprawls are too difficult for you to jump your feet out, just walk out and walk back in. Remember, you're just gonna wanna repeat this for 20 seconds straight and then take a 10 second break. And you'll repeat that on and off interval for eight rounds. Then take that 60 second break and move on to the next one, which is the push-up jack. To do this one, start in a push-up position with both your feet together. Next, as you come down and lower yourself to the ground, jump your feet out almost as if you're going to do a prone jumping jack. Then as you come back up off the ground, jump your feet back in and repeat for 20 seconds. If you can't do the push-ups for 20 seconds or if it gets too hard at the later rounds, don't worry, you can just regress to regular plank jacks. Here you can either stay up on your hands or you would get down into a plank on your elbows and just jump your feet out and in again and again. Try to do the push-up version as long as you can and then once you need to do the regression, you can substitute for that. Next, we're gonna do a one-sided split jump, which is similar to plyometric lunges, but it just requires a little less coordination. Start in a lunge position with one foot in front of the other foot. Drop the back knee straight down to the ground and make sure that your front knee doesn't go past your toes. If it does, then you have to step further back with your back foot. After bringing your back knee down, explode and jump up as high as you can and land right back down in that lunge position. Repeat it until all 20 seconds are up and after your 10 second break, switch sides for the next 20 seconds. Up next, you're gonna lay on the ground for a very effective ab exercise known as the full body scissor. Start by sitting on your butt. Raise your legs up off the ground and sit up with your upper body and point your hands towards your feet. Now bring both your arms and both your legs all the way out and then immediately bring them back together all the way until you cross them over. Repeat this movement back and forth. If this is too difficult for you, you're gonna do long arm crunches instead. Moving on, we're almost halfway through with the fifth exercise, which is the step up to a squat thrust or a sprawl. Those two names are kind of interchangeable. To do the step up, you can grab a sturdy chair or just use stairs or steps at your house. Start by standing straight, nice and tall, and step one foot up on whatever platform you're using. Step all the way up, doing your best to use your front leg as much as possible while trying to kick off less with your back foot. When you come up, raise the opposite foot that you stepped up with, bringing your knee straight up towards your chest. At the same time, drop the arm on the same side as the leg that's coming up down. This way you'll provide a counterbalance. Then step down on the same foot that you brought up to your chest and repeat on the other side. Finally, finish off with a sprawl, just like you did with the very first exercise, trying to touch your hips to the ground. Repeat this whole drill for 20 seconds and remember, every time you do this workout, try to increase the amount of reps that you could do within the 20 seconds. Since we're not using equipment, we have to increase intensity by performing more reps at a faster pace. 
Next, we're doing lateral mountain climbers. These are very similar to the mountain climbers that you've probably done before, maybe in gym class, but the difference is that you're gonna be moving left and right as you do them. Start in a push-up position and start bringing alternate knees up into your chest. As you're doing this, step your hands to the left three or four times before reversing directions and moving back to where you originally started. Each round, start in the direction that you left off on. This one is harder than it looks and you'll definitely feel your heart rate going up as you do it more and more. Exercise number seven is a simple one. However, for it to be effective, you have to perform it correctly. It's high knees. And when I say high knees, I mean that your knees should be coming up to waist level. You can hold your hands out in front of you, in front of your hips and touch your knees to help you get them up high enough. But once you get the idea, you would do this one by swinging your arms as you raise one knee and alternate from one side to the other. After finishing your eight rounds, you're gonna move on to broad jumps with back pedals. Here, you wanna squat down a little and jump as far forward as you can, planting both your feet in front of you. Then return to your starting position by stepping backwards three or four times while swinging your arms. Try to do this at a faster pace to increase the effectiveness of this exercise. For the last two, we're gonna challenge both your upper and your lower body. The first one is dive bombers. Here you start in a push-up position, except the only difference is that your feet are wide apart and your butt is up in the air, kind of like a downward dog. From that position, you lower yourself to the ground as if you're going for a push-up with your hips up really high in the air. At the bottom of the push-up, drop your hips to the ground as you extend your elbows to bring your upper body back up. Then reverse this exact motion by bending your elbows and dropping your upper body back to the ground and then extend your elbows as you bring your hips back up into that original downward dog starting position. This one may take a couple practice runs, but it's very effective upper body exercise that hits multiple muscle groups and increases your heart rate and your breathing rate. Last but not least is a plyo step up with an alternate leg extension. Don't worry, this one is not quite as complicated as it sounds and you could start by facing sideways from a step or a chair. Put one foot up on the platform, reach your opposite hand towards that foot that's on the platform and step up. As you step up, I want you to raise your opposite knee up towards your chest as you jump up off the platform. Then repeat. If this one feels like it involves too much coordination, you can just do regular alternating step ups for a regression where you step up on one side and switch to the other side for all 20 seconds. That's it, remember to do each for eight rounds with 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're serious about burning fat, you have to understand that it's not only about working out, but it's also about following a proper diet plan. On my website, I have a challenge that on average is helping my clients lose 20 pounds or 5% body fat in just six weeks. And luckily there's an at-home version of this program included. Right now for a limited time, we're running this six week challenge for free and all you gotta do to earn it is stick to the plan. We include a diet plan, a workout plan, and an accountability coach to guide you through the entire process. And the challenge makes you hold yourself accountable by having something to lose. Most people fail diet plans because when the going gets rough, there's no incentive to actually stick it out. Our challenge is designed to tackle the psychological roadblock that many people face. It shouldn't be information that you're after, guys. It should be incentive, momentum, and motivation. The fact that you have to earn the challenge makes people actually follow through on what they say they're gonna do from day one to day 42. The challenge can be found by clicking the link below in the description, or you could just visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon. Pump it.